how are you guys in this video we are going to talk about position isomerism and what we are going to discuss is what is position isomerism then where or how to observe position isomerism and we will take some examples position isomerism is a kind of structural isomerism and for structural isomerism we have already talked that two compounds are structural isomers when they have the same molecular formula so the molecular formula is same but there is a difference in their structure so same molecular formula different structure now for position isomerism the difference in structure is due to the position but the position of what so the position of the functional group present in the compound or the unsaturation that is the double bond or triple bond in the compound or the substituents at least one of these should be different but before we actually talk about the position you must check another important thing between position isomers and that is the two compounds which we are checking for position isomerism must have same chain length only then we check about position isomerism so let's now talk about some examples of position isomerism let's say we have these two compounds both of them have an oh group so they are alcohols the first thing to check is the molecular formula for the first compound we have three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms and one oxygen and in the second compound also we have three carbon atoms and then we have 3 3 6 1 7 and 8 hydrogen atoms and one oxygen so the first check that that the molecular formula should be same is done okay then what's the second step you check the parent chain's length so in the first compound you have a parent chain of 3 carbon atoms whereas in the second compound also you have a parent chain of 3 carbon atoms so the second step is also okay now we need to see whether they are position isomers or not so here we have the oh group as the functional group and you can see that in the first compound oh is attached to the first carbon atom whereas in the second compound it is attached to the second carbon atom so the position of functional group that is oh atom is different and therefore these two compounds are position isomers and if you decide to write their names it will become very clear the first compound is called propane one all and the second compound is propane two all so you can see that the position of the functional group is different in both the compounds and therefore they are position isomers easy right let's take another example and this time we will have position isomerism due to the unsaturation quickly look at these two compounds and write their molecular formula so the first compound is c4h8 right and the second compound also has the formula c4 and count the hydrogen atoms fast h8 and then we move on to the second step that is the length of the parent chain both these compounds are straight chain and have four carbon atoms each so both of our criteria is match and now we need to see the position of the unsaturation here the double bond here is starting at the first carbon atom whereas in the next compound we have the double bond on the second carbon atom so the position of double bond this time 
there is no functional group we have the double bond the position of double bond is different and therefore these two compounds are position isomers all right so let's take a quick look at how substituents are used to decide position isomerism and we will wind up this video this time it's your turn look at these two compounds and write down their molecular formula i am going to do it as well but you must verify after writing it on your own so the molecular formula is c6h14 in both these compounds and the chain length what do you think the chain length is for both these compounds the chain length is 5 carbon atoms so let's look at the position of substituents and in the first compound ch3 group that is the substituent here is present on the second carbon atom whereas in the second compound ch3 is present on the third carbon atom and so we have a difference in position of substituent therefore these two compounds are position isomers so once again let's quickly take a look at what position isomerism is and the important points position isomerism is observed when there is difference in position of the functional group or unsaturation or substituents and before you check position isomerism you must check that they have the same molecular formula and same parent chain length only then you should check for position isomerism in the next video i am going to talk about functional isomerisms see you in the next video